guys, so uh, I have another Candles by Victoria Hall. I was supposed to record this the other night, but I didn't. And I just worked out, so excuse the mess. <laughs> um, <clears throat> the last haul that I did the other night, um, I forgot one of my older candles. So, this is uh, Enchanted Forest. It's a green color. And... The first thing off that I smell is peppermint, and then I smell strawberry and a few other different types of of berries. It's a really good combination. If you don't like peppermint, I don't suggest getting this though. But I like that one a lot. Um. Anyways, to my new candles. Um. I'm just going to go through no particular order. Yet again, remember, this is all my opinion. I'm not reading this off the, the site or anything, so you guys can get a feel for what it really smells like. Uh, even though I do suck. Um, <laughs> anyways. Oh, I noticed no turtle roaming around this time. So, oh, i got to show you something at the end if I have time, but i got to hurry. Anyways. <laughs> um, this one is called Jamaican Vacation. It's purple. Be careful. It's really pretty purple. I don't even know how to describe this one. It's just... It's perfect for summer and, um... Ugh, oh, smoke it. Um, it's perfect for summer and spring and that kind of scent. It's very, very, um, very tropical. It's got... It smells like flowers and berries mixed together. It's pretty strong though, so this one's pretty, pretty, pretty strong to throw there. Um, I have not burned this one. I burned two of them because I wasn't sure about them. So um, this one, oh my gosh, this is Fireside Romance. Um, I absolutely love this. This is just a red. I absolutely love. This is the only like. No, I lied. This is the second. Um, smell that I've, that I have that's like a kind of a guy scent, you know, but on her website she calls it the sexy man scent or something or something like that and it just smells like a cologne. I mean, it's very sexy, whatever you want to call it, but it smells good and I can't put my finger on what cologne it smells like, but it smells so good. Oh, I definitely recommend this if you want a guy scent in your room or whatever. It smells really good. Um, the next one, this is one that I burned. That one I didn't burn. Fireside Romance I didn't burn. Uh, cheesecake I burned already. Just a little bit. Um, when I first got this, I wasn't too sure. Like I said, I wasn't too sure about this one, so I burned it. And, um, I like it better when it's, after it's burned. When you first get it, it smells, it doesn't smell anything like cheesecake. It just smells sweet and nutty, and I don't, it smells like, you know, like the crust and stuff, but I don't, I'm not a fan of, like, nuts too much, I'm not a nut person, mm -mm. and, um, after I burn it, it smells more warm, and more sugary, I like it a lot better after you burn it, that's about all I got for you, the nutty scent isn't really there too much when you burn it, um, this is the other one I burned, Country Fair Funnel Cake, I wasn't sure, about this one when I first got it too, but I like it after it's burned. Um, some candles will do that if you're not sure how to, you know, how it smells or if you like it and you burn it and you like it. Or, also, like for example, you get a scent and you'll be like, eh, whatever, and then it'll grow on you. So, this one, um, when I first opened it, it smelled of like dough, like raw dough, and like powdered sugar, but not sweet, not like super sweet. And after I burn it, after I burn it, it um, it's very sweeter. It's a lot more sweet, and I still smell the dough smell, but it has a different smell to it. And I smell hints of fried when it's actually burning. Because you know how it's the funnel cake is kind of fried and that, you know, the batter's fried. But not a true fried scent. So 
which I was kind of disappointed about that because I thought, you know, Country Fair Funnel Cake is fried, you know. But it's still a very good candle. I like it a lot. I like it. Um, the next one that I got is, this one I saw on another girl's, um, YouTube, and she was like, you gotta try this, so I thought it'd be a safe buy. So I got Raspberry Guava. I love this candle. Oh my gosh. I did not burn this one yet, but I did rub all of them with, you know, my finger to get the oils going. First thing I smell is raspberry. Just pure raspberry. It smells so delicious, but not like fake raspberry. It's like a tart, fresh, picked raspberry. Not fake at all. Very, very tart, though. And then in the background, I smell a little bit of sweet, too. And then the guava. I don't know what guava smells like, but this mixture is definitely, I think, one of my favorites. And this is a lighter candle, so it's not as strong. So it'll fill up your room with that, you know, kind of light scent that some people like or into whatever you're in the mood for. I really like this candle. I recommend this one. Highly recommend this one. Um, the last full candle that I got. Oh my gosh, I am obsessed with this candle. It's Kahlua Cafe Light. However the heck you say that. Um, ooh, Caitlin hair on it. Um, attractive. Uh, <laughs> have not burned this one. I think I might burn this one next. First thing you smell is coffee, and it doesn't smell, it doesn't smell fake. It smells very fresh. And it doesn't smell like coffee grounds, it smells like the beans. Because some of the, sometimes you'll get the beans and it'll smell different. But yeah, um, I have talked to two adults, because obviously I'm not an adult, and um, they said it smells exactly like Kahlua. So... I wouldn't know. <laughs> but if you like coffee, this is big, big time. Like, get this. Seriously. I love this. And I love coffee. Kiss off me. Um, and then, oh my gosh, I am obsessed with this candle. It is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I got one of her really big candles. It was $25. Um, yeah. And... I am obsessed with this candle. It is, let me take, it. first of all, I have the plastic on. Let me take it off. Because I put it on there because it's really strong. And, um, it was filling up my room, but I couldn't smell my other candles. So, um, yeah, let me take this off really fast. So I have something to show you. Anyway, this is the Chocolate Decadent Delight. I have no idea what the layers are. You're going to have to look them up yourself. Sorry about that. But look at that beautiful crumb cake stuff right there. Isn't that beautiful? And then she takes the wax and she puts the wax, she puts a stick in there to make it look pretty. But, oh my gosh. This is just... I don't even, I can't, I'm sorry, I just can't even describe it. It doesn't smell like chocolate, because it's called Chocolate Decadent Delight. It smells more like caramel and... More caramely sweet stuff. We'll see because it's different layers of different smells. But um, it's absolutely beautiful. And I tell you what, this thing's huge. Um, like here's my hand compared to it. It's it's gigantic. So yeah, and it's three. It's um triple wicked, which I didn't know that. I thought it was double. So it's triple. Okay, and I have two more. I want to show you guys something. Um, my free scent shot with wood nymphs, it smells like fresh cut wood. That's exactly it. And kind of a, kind of a fresh, soapy smell too. Fresh cut wood. And then my mom did a haul the other day and uh, with just scent shots and she got me Jacob Black. I love this. I don't like herbal scents, but I like this. It smells really good. It's very, very manly. Um, anyways. Okay, I gotta show you something. Look! Yeah, okay, I got another turtle, because you guys saw me, like, the other day, if you saw my other haul, I got another turtle. Here he is, he's right there. I can't zoom in, sorry. There's Zachariah, right there, that you've seen him already, and this is Godzilla. He's huge! Anyways, just wanted to show you. Love y'all, bye!